Hello everyone, did you know that migraine remains underdiagnosed and undertreated in at least 50% of patients? And to less than 50% of migraineurs still not consulting any physician. And this is why it is very important to raise awareness on this disease. And the month of June is the dedicated month to raising awareness about migraine. So migraine matters. It is a public campaign to raise awareness on migraine. And I want to give a little overview in in the coming few minutes about migraine, their causes, symptoms, and treatment. My name is Mustafa Shakra, and I am a consultant neurologist at Sheikh Khalifa Medical City in Abu Dhabi. Migraine is a brain disorder where patient is suffering from head pain that is usually affecting one half of the head other than the other one, and there is usually associated visual symptoms In the usual attack of migraine consists of four phases. The phase one is prodrome that is usually preceding the headache by one to two days. And usually symptoms are very non-specific, sometimes fatigue, depression, sleeping disturbances, and the craving to food. Subsequently, there is a phase of aura, which is a warning sign. We are going to talk about it uh, later on. Then the headache phase that may persist for up to three or four days. Subsequently, there, were, there is post-drum symptom that again include apathy and fatigue and some depressive mood. Remember, migraine is not just a headache. Migraine is a constellation of symptoms. One of them is headache. Other bothersome symptoms include nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise, sensitivity to smell, and sensitivity to movement. It is a disabling disease. Migraine is very common. It is affecting 15% of general population of the world. It is the first common disease in the neurology clinics. Usually, migraine is affecting women more than men. I would say three to one. It starts usually with early adulthood and it usually affects people in the productive and reproductive age. It is also affect children. The causes of migraine is not completely understood. We know that there are multiple contributing factors in the pathogenesis of migraine. Some of them include the vascular factors, other neuronal factors, chemicals factors in the brain. Not to forget that migraine, we consider migraine usually as a genetic disorder. It runs in family. Usually, migraine attack persists between few hours to few days. However, in many occasions, patients suffer from migraine up to seven days. In 20 to 30 percent of patients with migraine, patients may suffer from warning symptoms that might include visual, sensory, motor, or verbal complaints. The most common of them is the visual symptoms that might include zigzag lights, lag spots, bright spots, and magic lines shapes and foggy vision and holes. The other complaint might be sensory. It is numbness and tingling over under the arm that is breathing to include face and tongue. Occasionally, there is difficulty in speech as difficulty in finding wording. And very infrequently, patients might suffer from weakness in arm or leg, which it is extremely uncommon. Aura happens in the beginning of headache prior to the pain. However, in many occasions, aura may persist during the headache phase of migraine. As we said before, migraine is not just a headache. If you are suffering from repeated attacks of throbbing pain that is affecting half of the head more than the other half, and there are associated symptoms of sensitivity to light, sensitivity to smell, sensitivity to noise and to the movement, and if you suffer from nausea and vomiting, you have to seek the medical advice, you have to arrange to visit your doctor in order to confirm the diagnosis of migraine and to exclude other risks unlikely diseases. I appreciate your time and I hope that you learn something new about migraine. And please remember, migraine is not just a headache.